Red Wabbit wants to know what's happening with raising the limit from 250 grams to uh, one kilogram. Thank you for a $10 super chat. Uh, Red Wabbit is referring to a campaign put together by the Flight Test Community Association and the FPV Freedom Coalition uh, to raise the 250 gram limit for a remote ID to one kilogram. So anything under one kilogram would not need remote ID. The interesting thing about this thrust was that it was not simply us going to the FAA and going, please, sir, may I have an exemption? It was the FAA Reauthorization Act is going through this year. And the FAA Reauthorization Act is how Congress tells the FAA what Congress wants the FAA to do. It's interesting because some people have said a uh, federal federal regulator can't make make laws. That is true. And they're like, where did the FAA get the authority to do this? It's like, well, the, the FAA Reauthorization Act is where they got the authority. These unelected regulators making rules for us. Well, the, the, the people who told them to do this were elected representatives. I'm not saying it's a perfect system. I'm not saying it's not flawed, but they were told to do this by elected representatives. And if you don't like that, then, I mean, let's be honest, you're just going to keep voting for whichever political party you agree with the most anyway, and this isn't going to be the thing that causes you to change party. So nothing's going to change because no one is ever going to actually like feel political pressure to change their vote based on what their decision they made on this. Okay, so anyway, that's the nihilist in me. Uh, but the FAA Reauthorization Act is going through again, as it does every, I think it's four years, but I'm not sure. And we hoped that if we could get enough buzz into the ears of legislators, maybe they would tell the FAA, you got to do this. Uh, the draft the draft of the bill is out. The one kilogram limit was not in there. Uh, Blunty, you are an FPV Freedom Coalition member, which I sometimes bring up. When we talk about this stuff, is there anything you feel like adding at this point? No. Okay. All right. At this time, that is not in the bill. It would be nice. The bill is not final, but didn't make it into the first draft of the bill. And oh, oh, and the AMA, which said, we support this, but we don't think now is the right time to try to blah, 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 blah. Uh, have they put forward like an amendment? A Because the, apparently the FAA could just write amendments to the bill and just get them in, put them forward. They claim they put nobody forward? wanted to do the one kilogram thing. They said they tried for a second and aren't interested anymore because nobody cared on the Hill and they're doing what they can do. That's what they said. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? No one, no one wanted to do that. Yeah. I mean, that's probably true. But... Uh, I'm 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 going to guess that they didn't try that hard because it wasn't their idea. Maybe I'm just cynical. Maybe I should give them more credit. I feel like I've given them are, more more credit than they deserve for a long we time. We aren't privy to any of those conversations. All we get is the feedback from them saying, you know, hey, they said no. That's yeah. thing. So. They say things like, oh, man, you know, our guy was in 400 meetings this week. Yeah. No, he didn't even sleep. He just propped his eyes open with toothpicks and drank coffee and snorted Adderall and went into meetings. That's all he did this week. Didn't come up. So many meetings. <laughs> all right. Black Jungle, thank you for five Brazilian Ray Eyes. Continuing the Super Chat Roundup. Any recommendations on BT656 IR cameras? Uh, isn't there a new Fox Ear one? That's the only one I know of. Yes, is that Fox Ear? I mean, there's also like Flare, right? What's the, yeah, the only one I know of that's a reasonable price on meant for right. what we do? Uh, so these are the only, uh, are these BT636? I think, I, I assume they are. I'm not actually 100% sure I know what BT636 it, is. It say, it's like I believe the interface for this. in the specs, so I think. Yeah. It's the interface for this sensor or something like that. Uh, where Where is it? Mm, like, surely it is. 
Nope, I don't see it anywhere here, Valenti. I mean, that's the u that's the usual interface you would expect, though. Uh, so I'm going to assume that it is. Uh, these two are your choices. The FT384, which is, I think it's 320 by 240 or whatever, and the FT640. Uh, so uh, that is what you would be going for, I think. Uh, people joking about the price of that uh, Foxier camera. You guys, go. Uh, that's actually a really kind of fair price for a thermal camera if, you, if that's what you actually want. Thermal cameras are not cheap. Uh, continuing the super chat, the stream. We got to come up with a better name for it. The uh, stream of super chats. The uh, super chat. I don't know. Bonanza. <laughs> uh, late night with Shane. Insane. Thank you for ten dollars. Just finally caught you live. I wanted to send a thank you for all the help. You have no idea you've given me. Thank you so much, Shane. Shane Insane. That's like a DJ name. I got to uh, DJs always have to misspell their name in some way uh, so that people can know that they're cool. Shane and Sane. Late at night. Uh, Gray Man, thanks for a $10 super chat. Just saying thanks for helping through the emails. Jordan Williamson says, uh, huh. Oh, this is different. Jordan Williams says, says my flight controller is freezing up. Drone drops out of the sky. Receiver still connected. Receiver still connected just means that you, it has power. So like your five volt regulator is not is not going out. Okay, doesn't tell you a lot about the flight controller though. It doesn't beep when changing modes are on. Beta flight data also freezes when it fails. Uh, so there's two possibilities here. One is that you have damaged hardware, in which case get a new flight controller. The other is that there is some kind of a bug in your flight controller that is like resulting in it locking up. I would go to the Betaflight uh, Discord and ask there and see if anyone knows of any any known bugs. You could try flashing a different firmware version. Like if you're on 442, try flashing 440, right? And see if that fixes it. If you're unable to fix it by like changing firmware or, or stuff like that, then you may just have bad hardware, in which case it's time for a new flight controller. Blunty, is, is CVBS uh, like an alternative to the thing that Black Jungle was asking for, the 232 thing? I'm not yeah. sure. I believe so, but I'm just sharing the information that I have. So CVBS would not be the interface he wants, potentially, and those cameras wouldn't work for him. What is the name of that interface? What was it? Where is, I'm trying to find it. It said BT636, I think, but 656, rather. 656. What is BT656? A sequel. Oh. BT656. It's, so it's a video format. It's a video format. Yeah, I believe Foxier made there so that you didn't have to use BT656. Six five six. You can actually get a camera over normal video. Oh, because CVBS is just normal analog video. I believe so. Oh, oh, oh! Interesting. Yeah, that makes sense because the the ability they wanted the ability to use it with a with an analog. Oh, I see. I, uh, this is an interesting. This is actually a really interesting problem. So there's existing thermal cameras that will work with analog VTXs using CVBS uh, signal. But that's analog, and people want to use it with digital VTXs. And there aren't any digital any VTXs that I know of that will take BT656 or any of these digital formats in, but perhaps Black Jungle knows something I don't know. Very, very interesting. Black Jungle, I'm not sure about that. That's a much more that's a much harder question than I than I realized. Cadex is launching a, a 656 camera. Ah, uh, yeah, I've heard about that. I've heard rumors about the Cadex thermal camera. And Cadex is also going to be launching a VTX, a Waxnail VTX, that takes that same input. So that's going to be what you're going for there. The Cadex camera and the Cadex VTX. Uh, 